it was a gun. I'm not voting. If we want to build our nation. The problem with the Somalians. Just want to experience something else than a black man. Move on, move on. like a host of blinkers. Honestly, say, I was about to have sex and then I pulled Crap, but it's nice. My name is Bourbon. My surname is Lewis. I'm 44 years old. I'm born 1969, 26th of April. Been in prison for 12 years, I'm out of prison for 14 years. My name is Muhammad Yunus, they call me my nickname Joey. I'm, I'm born 1954, my age is 58 years old. I went to prison, I went, spent 23 years in prison. Came out of prison, I'm now 13 years out of prison. Hi, my name is Munib, Munib de Gouda, I'm 27 years of age. Um, I've been to prison for selling drugs. I'm Colin Fortune, I'm age 34. 1978, um, been to prison not for very long, but I've been there for drugs. I didn't grow up with my family, my parents and so, so yeah, it was hard for me, tough and so, so um, I, I met some friends and they, they showed me some different type of things and that's where, that's where I started out um, moving around with this stealing and for your habits and so, and yeah, and um, yeah, so at the end of the day, um, I ended up in jail, and so, like I said, it's not wasn't like for long, but it was a hell of experience for me. And at the end of the day, I, I, I think I think I've learned my lesson. I went to prison too because I stabbed a person, man. And I went to prison. I picked up so many years in prison every time. In prison is a different life, man. Especially when you're young. Especially when you're young, prison is a different life to what you yes, what you outside. I think that prisoners is like politicians because if we enter prison, it's a, it's a city behind bars. And I think we young, when we come in prison, we thought that this is the right way. So how our minds is going to be changed? Because our minds must be changed by gangsterism. If we go and you see this young, we, we different ages, as we said here, we got different experiences. And I think that uh, when you enter the prison, is your, your freedom was taken away for a couple of years, for a couple of months, is your freedom. Thing. So when you come out, you will see your freedom, but sometimes you, you don't see your freedom because uh, uh, prison is like, it's, it's, it's make you mad because it's not a place where a person really, because you cannot accept to say, I want to go to prison. You don't want to be there. No one wants to be there in prison because prison is like, oh. Every one of us want to be in a better life. Now, sometimes now I came out of prison, I can't get a job. It's hard for me, people look at me, I got tattoos on my body, my whole body's full of tattoos. Hey, I'm just a prisoner of a, they call it bandit in Afrikaans. But I don't want to be judged like that, man. You don't know what's inside my body. You can judge me maybe by the outside, but what's inside of me, I got more different things that I can create for children, young kids, staying away from those crime, drugs or that. I also use drugs, but I thought for myself, why must I use drugs? And I know this thing is going to take me back there where I work. And I don't want to belong to a place that I don't want to be in. Like me, I'm converted. I changed my life. I keep <coughs> my life to the Lord in prison. So that was a bit better for me because I get this, 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 this around me. I get people that, that always uh, encourage me. But you get, sometimes I'm set alone. When I'm set alone, I, I, I feel dis discouraged mm. because I think, yeah, Yo, I got nothing now. I, I got a child. I got, I got things to do. What I gonna do? But must I go back? Where, where I come from? It's, it, it's not not only I go on with you. It's, but sometimes in life, reality, there's no place for us to go and say we have this problem today. How can we be out? At yeah. the end of the day, um, as um, like you see, it's society and so forth. Um, the people don't accept you, um, just like this. Not even in a year's time, because they only they only see the bad, yes. and that bad, uh, it's like a status for yes. you. And even though you do something good, that they, they, they're still gonna remember for, you for for the bad things you do, and um, it's gonna take some time to to rehabilitate or, or, or get used to it. And 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 maybe the only thing is to just like you said now, um, it's to get involved in in, in programs and, work, yeah. and things yes. like that. Yeah, and yeah. You can rehabilitate, it's not to going to a rehab center. You can rehab yourself, man. It's you in yourself. It's your heart. It's your willpower that you got in it. I was long on drugs. I used to, I used many times of drugs when I came out. 
and I thought to myself, yeah, now my eyes is big, now I'm getting mad in my, uh, what's happening now in my head, something is wrong, I want to eat people's sleep. I thought to myself, before I'm doing this, stop it, man. This, I can't do this, I do, I'm scared, I don't want to go to bed. Listen. Why must I carry on with this life? This not a life. I need a better life than this, and I need my life back, not a life in prison. You get the psychologist's problem, because when you come out, you don't go to a doctor, you don't go to the psychologist, you just step out and you just go on with your, and that is the thing, that the community looks so sick outside. I think the youngsters of today have the desire to go to prison. In the first place, they have that desire because they look at the people on the streets, they see, look there, there's the gang standing on the corner. They have cars, they have dust, they have nice techies. That is their desire because the mothers don't, maybe don't give them the, the techies they want or the whatever they want. Now they see the gangs and the drug dealers, they have the stuff. And then they go join the gang. And before, if you want to join the gang, you have to do something. And when you do it, then you go to prison. Like I have a three day program with young kids for three days about gangsterism. And you must see the questions that they ask because they ask you questions yeah. <laughs> and they want answers. Like they started to stole a tomato for them, it's not, they not yeah. stolen it. So like other kid was saying, I stole this tomato, I take this tomato and she laugh. I say, yo, do you know you're already a thief? Mm-hmm. So kids is like, we bring, must bring him back and say that you can go to prison. It's a criminal offense. The idol is like oh. some gangster. Or maybe this gangster is their brother. And because he's their brother, they, they're going to look up to him. They be because, like him yeah. Yeah, because they want what he wants or what he yeah. have. Mm. And because it's easy for them to get it, they're going to go out and go for it. We didn't have the desire to go to prison. We just did it so that we, the, for status or something, no? Yeah, I think we did it for status, but we didn't have the desire to go to prison or whatever. Yeah, because at, at that time there wasn't, there's just guys like the youngsters today, they stick them full trappies or whatever. Like, not like, at that time the, 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 the prison, the gangs that came out of prison, they weren't like today. Today they do whatever, just like youngsters, they do whatever they want to do. That time they, the, if, they, if you called yourself in daughter, then you were like, you know, they are disciplined by them, but now to tell this, this guys. I can't say numbers is different now, man. but the way we experienced those years in the past, it, it was very hard. Mm-hmm. It was harder than like now. Yes. Like now it's easy to be a number, it's very easy. Mm-hmm. You can just go in prison now for one day, you should not be a number. But those years in the past, it, you couldn't be a number, man, it's very hard. You have to do something like a murder. You must step a warden. You must kill a warden before you be a number. You must do something horrible that people can see now. They can depend on you. When we go out for something, we're going to kill someone, you're going to stand together as brothers. We're going to die all together, or you'd rather jump out, you'll be, uh, like they call it, a big five, a pimp, a pump. I don't think that the police is really doing their jobs accordingly to, to how they should, like it says, to protect and to serve. They, I think they're just serving their own, their own, their own way of life and you know, trying to get what they want. You know what's the, the, the problem in town centre, man, you see? Most of these guys, they're walking there, they're selling the stuff. Now the policemen, they think, yeah, you're a criminal, I'm going to catch you now, you're stealing mm. something. But when you're stealing something, taking a chocolate there now, you're going to end up, hey, it's mm. my take you. But when you see him stealing a drug, He's not mm. going to grab you because mm. he knows he's going to get something. Yeah, he's going to get his oh. cigarettes money, he's going to get his oh. drink money and all that. Sometimes, you know, I'm so stressed out. I'm scaring with the policeman. I say, hey, I'm not buying or frightened of you, man. You're doing these things, you're eating mm. the children, you're innocent people you eat. But did you eat these guys? Did you take this guy and sell him drugs? You're standing every day here, but you don't call them. Mm. What? Now you can see that's a big problem amongst yeah. us, them. The approach of the police. Cause they make you egg, egg because yeah. the police are they 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 are the payroll. Now you see it as an ex offender of an ex prisoner of an ex draggy or whatever you yeah. do. Now the policeman, you the wrong, and mm. when they take the they hit you, they assault you, yeah. they always want to make a case against you. But I know this country is not a country of. It's a country of evidence based yeah. on evidence, yeah. not about uh, uh, what you hear, yeah. but what I you like see it. is evidence and they must do the job because how can you complain by a policeman about the other police? It's colleague. I see it a lot, these, these, um, these foreigners, they sell heroin and then at the end of the day, then the cops don't catch them. 
they catch the guys that come buy. Mm. And what I also saw, is I was standing by a shop and I bought me cigarettes and I saw this, this foreigner come and put money on the counter and the policeman came, but he didn't come in his, in his uniform, but I know he's a policeman and he took this money. So which means he's on the payroll. That is why they don't get caught. And um, one day I tried to stand up and um, they, because they caught my friend, uh, this policeman, they caught my friend with, with some, um, some drugs, yeah, and then I try to tell um, other policemen that, but this is not fair because these guys they take money from these people, but then then they just they just just shove me away like it's like nothing, it's like a norm. So I don't know, but about the police. But you're staying with your family, man. You must your family supports you, but now you can't always depend on your family. They also your sister, maybe your brother. She so got the children and the kids, the grandchildren. And now you come in there. You're alone, or maybe you come with a girlfriend staying with him. Now, you don't even work. She can't support you every day, man. There's, you must always do an effort to bring some money in. Now, that makes them cross. They, sh mm. they mad at you. they talking, hey, my brother, you don't want to work. It's just every day. It's, it's, a, it's like a nuisance at home. Now, that makes you, that takes you back, man, that you don't want mm. to belong. Now, that makes you think, hey, I was in prison, mm. man. Go what life I had to prison, I'd rather go back to prison. Now you just do something, walk out of the house, you maybe step someone or do something that you didn't want to do, mm. man. Now you belong back to in prison. You know, that's not a life for us. We don't want to be, I don't want to be in prison a bit. When we part of the gangs, we always have money and we have, there's always employment. But when we get out of prison, we thought it's going to be a better life for us. I think most of us, we always volunteer. We were for 14 years out, so it was a battle for us. I think um, it's not easy because you got a criminal record, you become state's property. And um, you do a lot of volunteerism work. And uh, I think that um, there come a lot of things in your mindset because um, you, when you were a gangster, you always have money. But now you're not a gangster anymore. Try to, to divert the community and try to talk to kids. But at the end of the, the unemployment, grow big, bigger in your life. So I think most of us come out with a good, uh, make a good decision, but when you come out, so there's no jobs for us. So people are going back and going back to prison because uh, you must now sell drugs or you must be part of criminal activities. As I grew up, I, I never had an idol or someone I had to look up to because my father was never there for me. And that is why I, I met up with these guys because they made me feel at home and all this type of things and and that is that is why the kids of today this they don't have people they can look up to man or when there is someone they can look up to it's people like us and we're not really we, we are not really in, in that in that state to to be the the idol and that is yeah that is why i think the, the kids today they turn to gangsterism because they feel more at home they, they get what they want they get new shoes they get new tech um clothing and whatever yes. so, yeah. My dream is to make this community a better community and that people can understand your freedom is more important than anything and God shall provide. My dream is I want to be, try to be, to make a better person out of me and to make other people believe there is something better in life, that the future is greater than everything. Leave the worst behind and leave the past. Don't look back look forward and make it a better world and make it a better nation together. My dream is to be, is to be successful in life and to be able to help the community at large. My dream is um, basically the same, to change firstly myself and at the end of the day change what's happening around me. But um, it, it's, not gonna, it's not gonna change by me alone. If I'm, gonna, I'm gonna need some help obviously by community and so forth. You should ever sit and talk with people Or else take a walk and create this straight talk Talk what is nice, it will make you feel stronger Listen what is right and say what is wrong You should ever sit and talk with people Or else take a walk and create this straight talk Talk what is nice, it will make you feel stronger Listen what is right and say what is wrong